there you go if you need to share a screen or anything so let's share that and then let's do a quick okay everyone should be able to see that yeah yes yes and toss the meeting notes into the chat. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're filling out the template. Template. Uh, Did I screw something up? Uh, yeah, you changed the date oh. on the template, not the Oops, sorry. standard. That's fine. We're down here. Gotcha. Now there. Okay. I'll put the in a, in a text box with a different color background. I keep forgetting about that. Um, Google made a change to the Google Docs interface. Are you seeing the new one? Uh, yeah, I see the new one. It's so weird. Okay. Um, and I can't see. Oh, there it is. Yay. Thank you. Awesome. Um, so we've all been to a comms meeting before, to, uh, right? We don't need to go over the general structure. I have. OK. So the purpose of these uh, push meetings is both to discuss long-term things that we need to implement and also short term things that we need to actually put out into the general world. Uh, so first, we'd like to start with a calibration meeting, which basically asks what needs or projects or things within the working group do we need to pay attention to? And then after that, we're going to uh, spend a little bit of time just basically like figuring out any content ideas that we may have where we need to collect those content ideas from. So we, do we need to go to other areas of chaos in order to receive that? And how are we going to push it out? Who will be responsible for that? Then we do the same thing uh, beyond content. We also wanna talk about community events. What awesomeness is happening in the general chaos community space that we need to push out to the rest? And then after that, we just have a series of different extra stuff. And at the end of the half hour, we discuss our action items. On Mondays, we're essentially filling out this um, sheet. And on Thursdays, we're essentially looking at, OK, how's the week going? Um, what balls have been dropped? What do we need to pick up? What do we need to focus on? And then uh, we basically just repeat this process uh, on Mondays. And then we check it on Thursdays. So that's basically what happens. Um, any questions or anything like that before we get started? All good. Okay, so looking at prior notes, it looks like we have a discussion on the adoption of co-schedule. I think we need to put this off uh, one more time because this is primarily Elizabeth who's testing it. Um, podcast with James Borman. Uh, we are kind of holding off on this until we actually like start the podcast in general. Um, so Georg, I think that is something that we should talk about, yes? We should. Yep. And so what are we thinking as far as restarting the podcast? Uh, I'm thinking give me another week. I'm still moving into the new house and then we can find everything in April. Cool. cool. All right. Uh, are, is there anything else big that we need to discuss regarding calibration? Uh, I published a blog post about seven risk metrics that we could elevate. Okay. 
I can post it in here. Yeah. Oh, that works too. Perfect. Yay. I've noticed that Chaos has a habit of using just standard URLs, and I wasn't sure if that was an accessibility thing. Um, we have quite a few podcast ideas currently hanging out um, that we can kind of look at. I'm just looking at prior meetings to see what needs to be rediscussed. Uh, SOP procedures for the inclusion and use of AI. Um, so this has kind of become an issue because there's a quality of blog and quality of podcast kind of benchmark that we want to hit in order to move forward. And it seems like that process has sort of broken down because AI has happened, which makes a lot of sense because like AI has changed like everything. Um, that having been said, though, Elizabeth suggested uh, that we might need to put together a standard operating procedure for handling that. Um, in addition to that, I think that there was a discussion in the general chat about us doing a general audit um, and putting together those standard operating procedures for the communications group into a working charter. And I think Ruth uh, wanted help doing that. So I figured that would be where that process comes into play. Matt, do you have more detail by chance? No, I actually don't. Okay. So general meeting. Um, any other calibration items? I think that's probably it. Because so I got to the end of the list. Yes. Yeah, I got to the end of the list. Um, so that's it for calibration. Um, content stuff. We already have a ton, actually. Um, so these were the content ideas before. So that first one, the article written with AI, which article is that? I do not know. I could track it down, Georg, but it was an article. It was like a blog post that was submitted. And it was written using chat GPT. And so the question was just, what do we do? Like, is that something we're okay with? Yeah. Is it the one challenges with building an international open source community that I think so. our show asked about on Friday? Yes. And if I remember correctly, uh, he also posted in the Slack asking for us to make a final verdict. And I think Elizabeth asked him to try and rewrite it to be a little bit more natural. Um, I don't know, though. Uh, I just uh, provided feedback because, yes, needs more clarity, uh, more focus, and I also suggested changing the structure. And so let's see if Arshul makes those changes, then I think it could be a good blog post. Otherwise, as it stands right now, I would reject it. Okay. And I just noticed that the link isn't working for the chat. So I posted the new one. Um, any other content blog ideas? Yeah, well, this is like new. Uh, Georg and I finished up a, the blog for ChaosCon in Brussels to share the findings. So that's done. I think we can yeah, thank you for taking the lead on that Matt. yeah sure i think it was pretty important to get it done there's some great stuff in there
Okay. Um, so pushing for content. Uh, it sounds like we have quite a few already written, yeah? One, one second before we go on the poll. Um, are we going to do something about the 100 ban? I don't remember. Um, I'm trying to remember who was doing this. Because Elizabeth mentioned it as being something that they wanted to do. Could we just, again, because Elizabeth being out, let's just wait till next week. I do think it's important to get it out there. I agree. Okay. And then the Open Source Sustainability Forum in San Francisco. Um, there was a private invite only event. I don't know if we want to post something about that. I mean, I'm, I was kind of, so I was kind of waiting for their report to come out, you know, to see what their overview was, the folks that hosted it. Mm. And then I thought we could speak to that, Georg, you know what I mean? Like, here's the report that they put together and here are the four people, yourself, Sean, me and Sophia that attended. And here's kind of what our takeaways were. Okay. Oh, geez, that is hosted privately. Uh, one <laughs> That's moment. That's not going to work. <laughs> Let's solve that problem. We could also do a piece of content <coughs> breaking down the Open Logic report. I have not seen this, and the link is broken. Um, that one is broken? The one in the, you just post a page not found. Yeah, it just says page not found. That's interesting. Um, ah, now it works. Okay. Amita, do you have anything you'd like to add? Um, not, not really. I, I was representing actually the design team, and I, I'm still not sure if I'm meant to be here because I'm a volunteer. I, I'm not uh, part of the officials, so I, I still don't understand. I wasn't able to hear that. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Okay. okay. We will move forward then, yeah. Um, so as far as pushes, uh, so this is content that uh, we've already made that could do with being pushed out again. Um, I already posted this in the Chaos Slack as well, but YouTube just announced a podcast section to its systems. Um, so we can completely republish the podcasts uh, there. Uh, I was doing Chaos Cast Abridged episodes, but it's just taking way too much time. So what we could do is we could just publish them wholesale on the Chaos channel. Um, if that's something that you want to do. Um, all things podcast, I will start thinking about next week. Okay. Uh, community events. Any big community events happening that we should cover? Um, hi, can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah, now we can hear you way better. Can you hear us? Looks like you're muted again. I got to go. Really yeah, sorry, I, I joined.
Oh, something happened again. And you said you need to go, Georg? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not here the whole time today. Oh, no, you're fine. I totally get it. Um, I mean, I has been trying to say something, but it keeps yeah. interrupting him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, sorry about the last time. You're fine. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm with the design team, and uh, so far we still working on the metrics um, websites. So we so uh, I would like to understand um something if I'm open. Uh, as a as a volunteer, am I obligated to be in the communications group meeting? Okay. So yeah. uh, you're wanting uh, to, you're wanting to volunteer in the communications working group? Oh, I not that. I, I'm I'm already a volunteer on the design team. So oh, okay. I wanted to be clear if. Um, the communications group, group's meeting was was compulsory, like attendance, because I, I I haven't been attending um, meetings, so I just I decided to just join in. This is my second um, communication group meeting. The, the first one I, I was completely new, so I didn't have anything to contribute, and the second, but I I've I've been seeing you guys have been dropping some pointers so um if if i may you you mentioned some community events right mm -hmm. yes we there are, there are currently events happening here back home so i was wondering would would there be a way to recover or any specific events that are being covered Um, so I think the general idea is um, this is basically a place to come to ground. So if events happen uh, that you want to advertise, then you can message us in Slack or you could bring it up in any meeting at all. But at some point through the grapevine, either via Slack or something like that, we're hoping that it will come to ground on this document to be like, okay, so communications people, we have these small little micro tasks that need to happen. Here are these, here are these items. So on Mondays, we collate them all together and then we say, all right, who's going to do them? And then on Thursdays, we're like, okay, what balls did we drop? Let's put them back together. So Mondays are to fill the list and then do as many as possible. And then Thursdays are to kind of take that back up in order to collect more of them. So I wouldn't say that attendance in these meetings is compulsory by any means. Uh, I don't think that that's necessary because work is still going to be done outside of this meeting in the first place. Uh, the general purpose of this meeting is for us just to calibrate as a community and say what social posts or social messages do we need to make sure exist throughout the rest of the group. Does that answer your question? Yes, so I fully answered my questions. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, if you have any events or anything like that, just toss them into the Slack. Uh, and this is also one of those areas where you can just kind of come and say, hey, we're doing this awesome thing in our local area. And we're like, yes, thank you for letting us know. Uh, but by no means is this the only place where you can put that. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. Yeah. You hope that's helpful. Um, I know PenguaCon is a thing. Um, uh, kind of in that same vein, you mentioned that you there are some local events happening in your area. Are you wanting to mention or recommend any for uh, coverage? Yeah, uh, in particular, there will be also designers event 
more of them more tech conflicts are happening here. Um, so I, I was wondering if probably they would um, want to coverage. So I would reach out if they um if if they them then I'll try to ask of feedback and, and relate to you guys. Awesome. Cool, cool. Uh yeah. So um when you're ready, just uh pop it into the Slack, let us know, and then we'll try and add and then start advertising it as needed. Um all right, so pushes for this content. Um burdens of community is very clearly mine. I'm the one speaking at that. Uh the CFPs for all things open, CMX and uh, Penguicon. Um, I believe that was an Elizabeth thing, like, right? She's putting that into the newsletter. Yeah, just, yes. All right. Um, I know ChaosCon is handling advertising for chaos con, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, as it stands right now, that's kind of all we have, uh, which is fine. Um, we could probably do a request for community events in Slack. And we should actually maybe ritual content we can actually ask midway through each month we can ask if there's something going on in the following month we could how do how, how do you think the best way to handle like folks presenting you know about metrics things that aren't necessarily like all chaos you know like chaos con or something like that you know but somebody just making a presentation like a kubecon or yeah. you know something like that should we just do like a once a month like, hey, here's community members talking about chaos -y things at um, you know, following conferences. I think we can do two things, probably. Uh, the first one is we should put in the newsletter a roundup for mm -hmm. each week that okay. looks about two, year, uh, two years, two weeks in advance. Okay. So we launch it on the first of the month and then halfway through the month. And in order to do that, in order to fill that, we'll need to stagger a call for those events. Halfway through the month, we ask for the beginning of the month. And then at the beginning of the month, we ask for halfway through the month. So it's ritual content in the Slack. Um, do we have any like full Slack automations built? For doing something like that? Yeah. Uh, no, like, okay. a, like a request like that, but we could. Yeah. So basically, we would just create ritual content where the Slack will just auto post to general or something, it. saying, "Hey, if you're giving a talk on chaos, chaosy things, you know, mm. fill out this form or not fill out the form, but add yourself to this table, something like that." Yeah, and then we could we could probably um, because it's the same post, we could conceivably be able to copy and paste that over to the discourse forum. Okay, and just have like a running post of it. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, there is another option. Um, I'm struggling to, uh, so tear it up has a system where you can apply to create an event. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we do tear it up art jam, for instance, you can mm -hmm. see the join virtually. And if they fill out this form, then on the back end, it generates an event system that allows you to run the event themselves. So you could see find a protest or create a protest. Mm -hmm. So if you click on host a protest, it'll allow you access to it. So they fill out this form. And once they do, it basically creates an event on the back end. Uh, so we could do something similar. Um, and what would the event be? Is the event like, like so, what, what are you calling an event here? Yeah, so for me at least, like, I'm struggling really hard to come up with like a specific visual example, but mm -hmm. let's say they have an event that they would like someone to come to. So we ask them to give us the information 
And then we ask them for the URL to attend the event and it goes to that different area. And then we're like, okay, so like this chaos member is performing this awesome event. Just click this button and you'll be able to uh, learn more and attend too. So okay. it's not being hosted by us, but it's basically just asking yeah. for a very short form to inform us. And we can put that on the website if needed. Um, so those are like the two options. Um, okay. I think the Slack option makes the most sense immediately. Yeah. Let's see how that goes first. You know what I mean? See people's response to that. Control content for yeah. Slack events requests. And that's obviously something too that would be easy enough for to like on the weekly calls, you know, just to remind people <laughs> as well. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm going to have to drop at the top. I have a meeting at 10, my time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I also need to go. Um, but yeah, I hope that this was helpful. And I will ping Elizabeth to ask her action items, I guess. Okay.